Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over one of my favorite tools for online arbitrage. I recently started using this tool more and it's been a big game changer for helping me speed up my sourcing processes. That tool is Selleramp. Let's go ahead and dive in and show you how I use this tool. All right, so there are two main methods that I like to utilize this tool for. There are so many different features that it can bring to your sourcing strategies, but I'm gonna go over two of the ways that I like to use it. Number one is it helps speed up going through website pages. So a lot of times there'll be a website sale going on and you might be wanting to go through that manually. Maybe you just prefer manual or you don't have a TA account yet, but Selleramp is gonna help you speed up manually going through those sales. So this is a website GameStop. I'm just gonna kind of show you how this tool works. We're not necessarily going to go through a tool, but we're going to show you the concepts and then apply that. So I'm just going to show you some different products here. Let's find a good product page. So let's look at some PlayStation games and let's say we want to sort by low to high and we want to set a filter of new conditioned items. So then you're going to want to have the Celeramp Chrome extension here installed and you're going to want to have it pinned. That way you can quickly access it. But what I like to do when I'm going through a website page is just kind of scroll through and anything that looks somewhat interesting. You know, you can't really look and see if it's going to be profitable, but you can kind of have an estimate of if something has like a big markdown like right here, or if it's on clearance, that it's likely to be profitable. So we're not necessarily looking for great items right now. I just want to teach you the process. So what I like to do is anything that looks remotely interesting, I open it up into a new tab. We'll look at four different products here as an example. And then I'll go to those individual tabs and I'll activate the Seller Amp Chrome extension here. So... I like to do it all at once. That way I'm kind of batching and they're all ready for me once I'm ready to go through them. Meanwhile, so as those are all loading, I'm going to come back to this main one. And as you can see here, it has pulled up an Amazon page. And then from there, I kind of identify if I want to look into this product further. So we see here on Amazon it is a rank 308, 1%. If you like to have a glance at rank when you're doing your research, and then also shows you the buy box price. So you can kind of compare quickly the buy box to the source price to see if it's going to be worth diving into further. Sometimes there will be other listings that it pulls up as well. Like this looks like another example here. Always open up the Amazon page to confirm an actual product match before you purchase. You'll want to dive into there for more research anyway. But this actually looks like something that could be worth looking into further. Yeah, review count going up, fairly profitable. I'm not gonna deep dive into this, but it looks like something that could be worth looking into further. And then again, just showing you here, it pulls up an Amazon product page based on the source. So this really just helps speed up. Normally you would have to copy this and then paste it into Amazon and then try to find a match. But as you can see here, it is automatically pulling this up for you every time. Uh, yeah, so that was 100% success rate. Honestly, it's normally pretty good. Sometimes the actual result will be down here further. And sometimes it does not find a product page and you do have to still look it up manually. But as you can see, this is a huge tool for helping to speed up finding your product pages whenever you're going through source websites sites doing your manual search. The next way that I like to utilize Selleramp is to speed up my storefront stocking process. If you don't know what storefront stocking is, I will link a video up here. But basically, it's you're looking at other people's storefronts to help find profitable products. If someone else is selling a product, you can justify that they are likely selling it for profit, or at least they were at some point in time. So going through that storefront stocking process and actually finding their products is going to help find you more products that you can sell yourself. There's a couple methods that you can use to start storefront stocking. One would be to go with store name brands, something like Great Value, Mainstays for Walmart, for example, or you can start with an ASIN that you know is already performing well, and you can go to those two as a starting point. We're going to use the Great Value method. And we're just going to pick a listing here. We're not looking for a profitable product right off the bat, but we're looking for a starting point. We like to do a stored brand like Great Value because we know that these sellers that are selling it have to be arbitraging it. They're not getting it at wholesale. And then, but what you want to do is come down here to the offers and then you can just kind of hover over. There's an option here for prime only or all offers. I like to do prime only, but if there is FBM offers on here and they're winning the buy box and they're having success, you can definitely look at those as 
as well. And then I'm looking here at the review count. You can see in the parentheses after the stars, it's going to show the review count. I like to look for someone between 50 and 500 reviews. And then once you find one of those, you can just click on it to open up their storefront. And then what it's going to do is show you all their product. So what's really nice about this feature is that it shows you a Keepa graph and you can quickly see pretty much all the info that you need to look at. You can see the sales rank, if it has good velocity, you can see if the buy box or the FBA price, FBM price is fairly steady. And you can see if Amazon is on the listing. So I know right off the bat, this is something that I would want to look into. It looks like Amazon's been on it recently, but historically, if they hadn't been, then I would want to dive deeper into this product. It can also show you your max cost and it, what you would want to pay for this. So at that current price with Amazon in the buy box, obviously we would be losing money, but whenever they go out of stock, then this could be something to look further into. And you can set all this up in your settings and it's kind of basing that off of your minimum ROI and profit requirements. And what I'm doing is just quickly scrolling through and looking at the Keepa charts to see if anything looks interesting. Basically, I'm looking at the Keepa and also the max cost here uh, to kind of get an idea of could I buy this product for less than $7? This is possible. I don't know, but what I'm going to do is look into it further. So all you have to do here is click the Google search tab or the Google shopping and it will help you find the product like it might be $1.93 at Walmart. All right, so we found a potential match for this product. I want to open up the Amazon page to look at it a little bit further. One ounce equate nasal spray. Looks like this could be a match. I'm going to do 193 times three to get my cost of goods. This product looks profitable, good ROI, good margin, very steady price. Um, yeah, if you could find this, this would definitely be a good product. And as you can see, we found that fairly quickly. It doesn't always happen that way. I would just want to dive a little bit deeper into guaranteeing that this is a product match for sure. So I would look at kind of the features here. I would maybe check the UPC and you know, all the different things that you need to do to guarantee a product match. But for the purposes of this video, I just wanted to show you how I use this to speed up my storefront stocking. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Those are the two main features that I like to use for Seller Amp. It has a ton of other features. It's a profit calculator. It can help you check restrictions. It can export to your Google Sheet. And I'll make more video tutorials in the future. But for now, I just wanted to show you the two main methods that I use Seller Amp for. And again, that's going through storefront stocking faster and going through source websites faster. This tool is only about $20 a month, so it's definitely budget friendly. And I would highly recommend getting this tool if you're going to be doing a lot of online arbitrage. It is definitely worth everything. Hope you found value out of this video and we'll see you on the next one.